Hello everyone, uh, I'm Hassan Darmawi. Uh, I'll be the chair of uh, this uh, 11th session of uh, this wonderful conference, Global Hands-On Universe uh, 2021. We are uh, on the, the last day, so we still have actually two days, there, there will be two sessions. And I'm uh, fortunate and happy actually to, uh, to chair this session, to chair uh, and present to you the invited speaker uh, of this session, uh, Professor Hasna Shinnawi. Uh, we, uh, we thank her for accepting our invitation. Uh, after Hasna, after the talk of Hasna Shinnawi, which will be almost one hour, we'll have uh, a, a short break and then we'll have uh, five uh, oral uh, talks, then another break, then another five uh, Talks. Then we'll have two uh, two uh, workshops after that. Welcome uh, all to this uh, new session. Uh, let me uh, briefly present uh, Professor Hasna Shinawi. So, um, whatever I say about her, it will be just a little because her achievements in, in Morocco and also worldwide is uh, very well well known. Uh, Professor Shinawi, she is. Uh, uh, a scientist in the field of meteorites and planetary science and uh, geochemistry. Uh, she is uh, currently a professor at uh, University Hassan II in Casablanca, uh, Morocco. She's the director of the Gaia uh, GAIA laboratory and uh, coordinator of the Center of Research on Georesources and Environment. By the way, uh, Professor Hasna is uh, the first, actually, the first woman graduating in meteorites in Morocco and in the Arab uh, world. Uh, she, she received several awards for her research, including the Paul uh, Dois II uh, Emil uh, Bullet in Paleontology, Academic, Academy of Science, uh, given by the Institute of uh, France in uh, November 2009. And uh, just like a few years ago, like in 2016, uh, she won actually the the TV national uh, TV uh, channel. She got the, uh, a trophy on distinguished woman in Morocco. Only little or small, few women actually in Morocco get this uh, honorable uh, trophy. Uh, Nationally, organized many many meetings. Uh, she's very active in. Uh, Polarizing of uh, science and astronomy in, in Morocco. Uh, one of the like uh, the cornerstone of uh, stones of her uh, uh, organizing is the 77th Meteorological Society meeting that was in September uh, 2014, and it was the first time uh, that uh, Morocco organized this, and it was the first time actually that this uh, meeting was organized in an Arabic and, and Muslim uh, country. Uh, Professor Hsna, you know, she has many achievements and we are very, very pleased to, uh, to welcome her to, uh, to this conference and to have her among uh, the Jihu uh, community. Last, uh, last conference, regional conference in, uh, in Ifran, she was also invited speaker uh, there. Uh, and she, she, she contributes a lot to our uh, regional uh, JIHU conference. Uh, Professor Hasna Shinawi, the, the floor is yours. Uh, you have like uh, 45 minutes uh, for your talk and then 15 minutes later to, for questions and, and answers. Uh, good morning, everyone. Do you hear me? You morning, yes, we, we do hear you, yes. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for your so nice introduction and uh, many, many thanks for uh, your invitation to take part to this uh, wonderful uh, event. 
uh, of Global Hanks um, Universe. And it was uh, a great pleasure for me to contribute to this event originally two years ago. And uh, today it's my great pleasure to talk to you uh, about the Atarek Foundation, that is an NGO that we launched uh, two years ago. And um, uh, to talk about Atarek as an example of meteoritics and planetary science dissemination uh, initiative. So, um, um, just a moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's start by the beginning. The beginning was um, about uh, 20 years ago when I began working on meteoritics uh, in Morocco. And um, it was um, after my first PhD, I was uh, back to Morocco. And then uh, I wanted to be, to, to do more research uh, as a professor. And uh, I've been invited by my, uh, my supervisor uh, to work on meteor meteorites. And on this time, it was uh, the first um, uh, pieces of meteorites coming from Morocco. And it was on 2000. And um, since this uh, moment, uh, we had uh, a very long and uh, long journey uh, about meteoritics in Morocco. So, um, Casablanca, Paris, Casablanca because I'm a professor at the Hassan Secret University, Paris because my, my supervisor was in Paris, and uh, Morocco, and especially Moroccan Sahara, where all, most meteorites are coming from. So what is the situation and the context? Uh, we have, um, most meteorites are coming, are collected, in uh, deserts, hot or cold deserts, and among those deserts, the, the Sahara. Uh, so Morocco has a, a huge number of meteorites because uh, it, it has a large Sahara. This Sahara is um, secure, and this is very important because um, actually uh, we have all these parts of, the, of our country that is a desert, uh, it's secure, it's uh, inhabited, uh, and uh, it's uh, inhabited by nomads that uh, become experts on meteorites uh, with time because they are interested on those uh, uh, rocks. Uh, and we have a very good community of hunters that are well-trained now in Morocco. Uh, on meteoritics, and that makes Morocco one of the most important places in the world for meteoritics collections. We, uh, in this area, we have more than 14,000 uh, meteorites that uh, are collected in the Sahara, and we have also uh, a lot of uh, falls in Morocco, and it so what is important is that it contributes to more than 50% of publications uh, on meteoritics in all over the world. Uh, this is a view about only the faults. Uh, we differentiate between finds and faults uh, of uh, meteorites. Those are the meteorites that have been seen when it uh, came to to Earth and when it fell in Morocco. And we have now 22 phones that are very, very important. And all those since Bin Grir, it's our team that worked on. And it includes uh, T-Sint meteorite, that is a Martian meteorite. It's the fifth Martian fall on the Earth. And it's very important. We had uh, the many, and we still have a lot of publications about T-Sint. Uh, Tigert, that is a meteorite that came from Vesta asteroid. And the latest one is Serda that is a carbonaceous chondrite. Um, why is it so important? Uh, actually, we have in Morocco a lot of meteorites, but not only uh, a lot of meteorites, we, have, we are also the source, source of many uh, valuable uh, meteorites, uh, such as uh, those um, ones, uh, the Russian 80% 
are coming from Morocco and the uh, surrounding countries, and rights, Martian meteorites, lunar meteorites, 70% of lunar meteorites are collected in our area. So those are um, scientifically very important. Uh, this is a work that has been done by uh, one of my PhD students that was um, defended uh, two years ago, showing the density of meteorites from the Sahara, that is uh, where we, we she, she proved that uh, actually we have still uh, at least 60% of meteorites, uh, 60,000, so, sorry, of meteorites that may still be uh, collected in this area. So a lot of um, uh, interest, a lot of material to uh, to work on. Uh, but what we have a lot uh, we had, and we still have some concerns. Uh, so uh, it, it's a lot of meteorites, but uh, no one was taking care of uh, about it. And uh, uh, there is a lack of information about the area where they are collected. There is uh, a loss of geo heritage because uh, actually, all those meteorites are exported. Um, a loss of identity, because uh, in many, um, most cases, uh, we don't have the name of the meteorites, uh, proper uh, Moroccan name, etc. So uh, we built a strategy in Morocco uh, that includes uh, three axes, a scientific research by uh, PhD uh, uh, students, by uh, publications, by uh, uh, doing uh, scientific research uh, in the international level. We include uh, formation in Morocco about meteoritics at the university and uh, with the curricula, design curricula, and a lot of communication for, for uh, everyone and also in the scientific uh, uh, communication. So this um, goes to, uh, the, to the valorization of our meteorites. And we, I will talk about uh, MUFID uh, network and, and uh, Atarek Foundation. So um, one of the the most important things that we built with time is and uh, during the last years is the Moroccan Observatory of Fireball Detection, that is MUFI. And uh, we have now five cameras that are installed. One of them are uh, hosted by the Al Akhawin University in Ifran by Professor Dramawi. And so this, this uh, network of camera is uh, important because uh, it's helped us to uh, follow uh, the um, uh, fireballs in Morocco. So this is the context. And um, uh, by uh, saying this, uh, actually, it was uh, the most important um, uh, uh, the most important uh, uh, things that uh, um, help us or make us thinking about having an NGO dedicated to uh, meteoritics in Morocco and planetary science to complete the work that uh, that was done, that uh, is still done at the university, at Hassan Second University. So we launched a Tariq Foundation for Meteoritics and Planetary Science. A Tariq uh, is for standing for uh, its acronym. It's all together task force for advancing research, innovation, and knowledge. Uh, it's uh, an uh, autonomous and nonprofit association. This is our website. It was created on April 2019, and uh, it's a result of a long experience of meteoritics and planetary science for the founders and the incredible richness of Morocco and North Africa on extraterrestrial rock. This is the, the meeting of the creation of Atara Foundation. Okay, this is the board of directors. We have um, the board of directors is uh, with uh, five people, the, the president, treasurer, general secretary, vice president and deputy secretary general. And we have uh, the, uh, ex the executive office and the board of director. 
uh, directors. Uh, and as you see, it's um, it's uh, a mix between um, uh, researchers from the university, students. We have uh, PhD students, and we have uh, doctors that are um, uh, on uh, meteoritics uh, that are uh, part of the executive board and the board of director of Atarekologi. And we also have people that are outside of science that um, we have uh, Madame Lubna Muna that is uh, a captain. Uh, uh, we have, so we have, it's um, uh, a mix of many people that are, are all interested by uh, science and planetary science. And we have a scientific committee with a great number of prestigious researchers from all over the world. What is the uh, Atayak Foundation mission? So uh, our mission is to promote science of meteoritics, planets, and astronomy uh, among researchers, uh, but not only for researchers, but it's for public and private institutions. Uh, it's also for students, for teachers, for high school students. And we also have uh, the, the duty on promoting and defending uh, our heritage among public authorities and general public. And it's not uh, only focusing in Morocco, but we are working in Morocco and trying to, uh, to work also in the all over the world, and especially in the Arab world and our, uh, African continent. We have a vision, uh, so uh, it's to emphasize the role of scientific and curricular development and education in basic and applied science in general, and also uh, to make um, those science uh, available or supporting a sustainable economy. And we, um, we are also trying to strengthen uh, the innovation and, and uh, making young people more available uh, with the new um, uh, formation and um, also it's uh, we are aware about the importance of those science uh, for young people because when you talk about uh, uh, meteorites when you talk about stars when you talk about dinosaurs to young people and to the public in general um, the, the eyes are sprinkling and uh, it's uh, good sciences to uh, make young people interested in science in general. Um, our activities, so we have um, since, uh, actually our activities were uh, began before we created Atarek because uh, as soon as we began working on meteoritics in Morocco, uh, it's, uh, it was uh, very important, very um, uh, in the beginning to communicate, as I said previously, and this communication uh, uh, make us doing a lot, a lot of workshops, a lot of exhibits, a lot of um, uh, lectures uh, for uh, in many places in Morocco and also outside. So uh, our activities, uh, one uh, important thing is the outreach for society, uh, outreach and society, uh, promoting development of science, pedagogy and scientific culture by designing training programs and extracurricular activities related to its area of expertise. So it's what we are doing uh, uh, mostly. Promoting and preserving geoheritage, especially meteorites and impact craters for future generations and contributing to the uh, sustainable development of territories by creating uh, local and uh, regional museums. It's something uh, I, I will talk uh, uh, about uh, the initiative of the exhibit that is uh, on way now in Casablanca, but this is something that we are conducting in Casablanca, and we hope to have something that are that is 
uh, more sustainable uh, in, uh, in the future. Um, we have also uh, um, as activities, uh, organizing meetings uh, for uh, scientific meetings, but also uh, meetings for the general public. Uh, it, we also, of course, and all those activities are um, going for promotion of meteorite science, planetology, and astronomy. Uh, in all territories, uh, not only uh, inside the university, but also outside the university and for the general public. We also, of course, uh, have in research activities because uh, actually uh, one uh, of the uh, aims of creating a uh, tariq is also to be able uh, to um, have funds uh, for our PhD students and uh, for developing uh, research uh, at the university. There are more uh, opportunities for uh, associations to apply for uh, funding, uh, in, uh, especially national and international funding. Uh, there are more opportunities. So it's one of the, our um, activities is developing research activities uh, on meteoritics and planetary science and the astronomy uh, with PhD students' work. And um, so leading our supporting partnership with public and private institutions, Moroccan and foreign. Uh, and uh, it's in our field of expertise, of course. And uh, this is important, I will talk about it when I will talk about the exhibits, promoting the creation of a research center dedicated, dedicated to meteoritics and planetary science. Um, as uh, NGO uh, and as NGO uh, headed at the university and uh, um, uh, built by uh, the research uh, on meteoritics, uh, it's, uh, it was important for us to be recognized by the um, uh, scientific society, international scientific society, that is taking care uh, of uh, meteoritics in the world. And this society for us it is the Meteoritical Society. The Meteoritical Society uh, is the scientific uh, society uh, that uh, uh, have uh, in our members are all uh, scientists working on meteoritics and planetary science, impact creation, etc. Uh, so we presented the uh, Tariq in the business meeting of uh, uh, the Meteoritical Society in uh, in uh, Sapporo in Japan uh, in 2019, uh, and uh, and it's in the uh, in the our one of our strategy foundation to uh, join network of national international associations with the similar goal and establish cooperative and partnership relations with public and private national and foreign associations foundation and organization with the same similar purposes so uh, we presented the apparent uh, to the Meteoritical Society, and uh, we had the privilege to be endorsed by the uh, Meteoritical Society. And uh, then we also have uh, had the, the endorsement of the European Association of Geochemistry, that is also the scientific society um, uh, of uh, geochemists in the world, because when we are uh, talk, uh, working on meteorites, we are talking talking also and working on geochemistry. And we also have the, the recognition of the Barringer Crater Company. And uh, so um, Meteoritical Society and Barringer uh, Crater Company uh, are uh, supporting Atarak uh, meteorites by financial, uh, and financial and scientific way. Um, moving to our activities, 
uh, our real activities in the field uh, after the creation of Atbarik. Uh, so for our first year uh, after our creation, uh, actually we had uh, conducted uh, uh, 12 outreach activities and nine scientific activities. Uh, I, cannot, I, I will not um, talk about all of them, but uh, I, I'll present some of them. This one is, um, uh, as you see here, it's uh, actually, it's an activity that we conducted uh, on January 2019 uh, in Qasar uh, that is in the south of Morocco, uh, near Warzazet. And uh, it was uh, um, an activity that we uh, we we uh, make with uh, our partners in um, in Morocco in NGOs in Morocco. Uh, one is, is the We Speak Citizen that is working in this area for promotion of territory, and we also work with Atlas uh, Atlas Dark Art. Um, Dark sky, sorry. Uh, and it was, uh, as you see, to go to from um, children from this, uh, the schools of this area. Uh, it was for the celebration of the Amazir New Year. And we decided to talk to those uh, children. Uh, but you see here also, there was uh, other association from other villages that were there. And we were talking about astronomy with Professor uh, Zuhair Ben Khaldun and talking about meteoritics. And especially in this area, because in this area on 2008, there was a very big uh, meteorite fall. And um, so uh, it was a good opportunity to talk about uh, this event to children and uh, youth and also for the uh, general public. And uh, you see uh, in the same events, uh, children that uh, uh, made some um, painting, etc. Uh, after they, we had an exhibit of meteorites and we had explanation uh, of what is a meteorite, what, is, uh, what it is from, uh, what it, uh, where is it coming from, etc. Uh, and you see that there was all, uh, also a very, very young people uh, from four years, and uh, they were very interested. Uh, I can talk, of course, uh, here about uh, the GESH or, um, GEO uh, uh, regional event that was organized by Professor Darnawi, uh, and where we uh, participated with uh, our PhD students and uh, with uh, Professor Mimoni and uh, other uh, people. Um, so it was one of the activities. I will say that it's a, a mix of uh, scientific activity uh, as we presented uh, the Atarek, but also we presented uh, a, a talk about uh, uh, meteorites in the global training teachers um, um, event. Uh, I uh, just to give another example of the work that we did on the first year. This is the one activity that was conducted in Tunisia uh, with Atarek. Uh, so uh, we went to the Tunis University. Uh, to give a talk about what are meteorites, etc., and we also I also conducted a workshop uh, for the students uh, to see meteorites and to see meteorites on the optical microscope. Uh, one of the um, uh, activities and um, uh, that we one of our products. Uh, is um, flyers. We uh, prepared uh, flyers uh, about very uh, basic knowledge on uh, meteoritics. Uh, this one is about what are meteorites. Uh, so uh, just to 
uh, explain uh, what are the origin of meteorites and to give uh, some examples of uh, those meteorites, especially uh, Moroccan ones. And you have here a nomenclature of uh, what is a meteor, what is a meteorite, uh, etc. And uh, those flyers were also um, translated in Arabic. Uh, and when we go for an outreach tour in, uh, in cities or uh, uh, in villages, uh, we uh, take those flyers with us and we give them to children and uh, to the, the, the public that may be interested in this. Um, concerning the second year, uh, I will give some examples of what we, uh, we have been conducting. Uh, so, uh, this is one uh, workshop that we uh, we had in the Ecole Centrale of Casablanca, and it was followed by a lecture in the um, in uh, the French Institute, uh, l'Institut Français in Casablanca, and it was for students of Ecole Centrale uh, with lecture and uh, and uh, an exhibit uh, of meteorites. And you see here that we have those flyers that are given also for, uh, it, it's a basic knowledge, but it's very helpful uh, for, for children, but also for students. And you see also that uh, um, all our activities uh, are uh, made by, uh, by the PhD students uh, and the people that uh, are members of ATTARIC and that are, uh, are interested by uh, meteorites. Uh, we had also one interesting uh, exhibit that was in uh, ISESCO uh, during the Forum of Future. Uh, it was just, uh, I think it was the latest uh, activities we had uh, before the lockdown. It was on February 2020. Uh, and we had uh, uh, an exhibit. We had um, uh, an exhibit of meteorites. And uh, we uh, always go with our posters uh, and everyone is dedicated to a part. Uh, this one is uh, for impact creating, how impact creators are formed, etc. Uh, this one is designed for uh, the classification of meteorites. Uh, this one is about meteorites from Morocco. And this one is designed for the origin of meteorites. Uh, during this, this future, uh, this, uh, sorry, this forum, there were, uh, uh, it was during one day and there was a lot of people coming to uh, see what, uh, what are the activities that uh, are done, um, especially for the, for the future. Uh, another kind of activities that we are doing in uh, Atarek uh, is also to help and to promote uh, um, research, and, but also um, uh, outreach, another kind of outreach. This is a book that has been written by, by uh, the, this uh, person, that is uh, uh, Monsieur Snaji. He is an arch architect, but he he wrote, he, he worked for uh, uh, 12 years on writing um, a book about paleontology and the history of Morocco. Uh, and this book is um, incredibly uh, rich and interesting. Uh, so, uh, as uh, Monsieur Snaji is uh, one of, of our members, we organized the uh, presentation of this book at the, in our faculty, and it was with uh, one very prestigious uh, researcher uh, in the world. Uh, so, uh, it's one of our activities. We also worked on something. Uh, different, but uh, uh, that is in the aim of uh, ATTARIC. It's the territorial development. Uh, so um, we uh, were 
and we are working on creation of geotourism uh, secrets to promote Moroccan geoheritage. Um, uh, one of the things that we, uh, we have seen when we were in Eid uh, bin uh, Hinto during the celebration of the Amazia Riyer, and uh, there was, uh, uh, I said, there was many associations uh, from different places in Morocco uh, be belonging to uh, uh, the belonging to open village association and those people was saying okay we don't have um, in our regions we are poor and we don't have anything um, valuable to show and so it was um, we we decided on this time to uh, help those um, uh, associations to see uh, that they have a lot of richness in their area. They have uh, a dark sky that is a treasure and it may be used for astro tourism. And they have uh, a, an incredibly rich uh, geology. All Morocco is very interesting on geology. And we just only we only have to um, know how to make it um, uh, valuable and how to promote this geology. So we begin by uh, Tizinushik, that is a village that is in the high Atlas Mountains. It's a, a very very nice village, and there is an association with the person that is working hardly to make this village uh, unique. Uh, so uh, we um, conducted a, a, a work with uh, students uh, for bachelor uh, research uh, to make a, a circuit uh, for Tizimushig, a geological uh, geotourism tourism, uh, circuit. So um, creating flyers and the for this purpose. Here it's in the area, uh, it's in another uh, area, it's uh, in the uh, south of uh, Morocco, uh, it's close to Skora, and we are also preparing a, a geotourism, uh, two uh, geotourism circuits in this area. We, um, then there was the lockdown and we had to um, make privilege. Uh, we make um, uh, the, the, the lockdown, we tried to make it um, uh, positive uh, as we launched uh, in our YouTube channel, a series of, um, uh, of very short videos about uh, what is the meteorite, uh, what, uh, uh, what is the fusion press, etc. Very uh, um, focused uh, videos on uh, information about uh, meteoritic and planetary science. We launched also uh, a newsletter for Attaret. Uh, during uh, this time, we also launched uh, lectures, uh, online lectures. We had wonderful lectures, and we I invite you to go to our web. Uh, YouTube channel to follow those because uh, we had very nice uh, talks uh, during uh, the pandemic and the lockdown. Uh, we, during also the lockdown, if, uh, even we were locked down, but we were working uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on meteoritics and we had uh, the uh, recognition of two um, faults uh, that occurred the year before, and that was recognized by the Meteorological Society, and it's uh, El Farsiya and Wad Al Hateba. Uh, we celebrated the Asteroid Day uh, by a series of conferences uh, with uh, our partners. Uh, so, uh, the, as you see, there was Professor Bamawi, Professor Ben Khaldun, Patrick Michel. So with the different uh, access, and uh, it was uh, 
during uh, um, many days. And um, so it was on collaboration with uh, different partners. Uh, last year, we had the uh, fall, uh, a new drive fall that occurred on August 2020. And uh, so we, we made uh, uh, the field work about uh, this meteorite that is a carbonaceous condite, it's Zerda. And um, uh, we communicate a lot because it's important to make Moroccan people and uh, also international people knowing uh, uh, the good scientific information about uh, meteoritic events. Um, this is something that we are very proud of. We we have been invited by uh, Professor Dramawi to contribute to the Festival of Astronomy of Ifran. Uh, it was a mix, a hybrid between uh, presential and um, uh, and uh, online, and uh, we, we gave a talk about uh, asteroids. And this is um, one very nice event that we had uh, last year also. It's the celebration of the 12th anniversary of Tamdart Fall in uh, the in Tamdart area, in the Serbun Hintu area. And uh, again, uh, uh, having uh, lectures, uh, exhibit, etc., about meteoritics in this area. So, um, Let's talk a little bit about this uh, wonderful event that we are having now in Casablanca, uh, that is uh, a museum exhibit uh, that we launched uh, in the beginning of July. We just, we, we worked three months. It was a very hard work uh, to prepare this exhibit. Uh, actually, it's um, uh, this on uh, um, 2021, uh, we decided to focus in uh, at Tarek uh, on the autonomy and financial sustainability of the foundation. And one of uh, our goals is to try to uh, uh, have a little funds by ourselves. So um, we uh, decided to have this museum to make the meteoritics um, for um, uh, for everyone, but also to have a little bit of sounds. And uh, so it's uh, a very nice experience. Uh, it was um, inaugurated on 13th of June uh, by the governor of uh, the Casablanca uh, area and Stadt area. And uh, we had uh, it. It has um, a very nice um, welcome by the authorities. And uh, what is uh, uh, very important for us is to show to uh, the, this, um, the, the, these people that we have the opportunity, we have the ability to have such uh, exhibits and our aim is to have a, a, a permanent uh, exhibit for meteoritics and planetary science uh, in Morocco, in Casablanca, but uh, also uh, mixed or, um, with a center of research because we, we believe that it's important uh, to have uh, those two things uh, going together, uh, research supporting outreach and outreach supporting research. So about uh, this uh, exhibit, uh, it's in a mall. Uh, so it's in, um, uh, we had, um, we have been offered by the mall an area of uh, 270 uh, meter squares, uh, mostly for free. And, but we had to do everything to really uh, build the scenery, etc. Uh, so everything, uh, even those um, things, have been designed by ourselves. Uh, the area was designed by our uh, group. Uh, we have 
the uh, uh, solar system here with the, the uh, design um, um, text about every planet, etc. Uh, all texts are uh, written in uh, French and Arabic. Uh, we have the most important thing is, of course, is the, the hair of the exhibit is meteorite. We have um, all phones um, that are presented here since Ben Gere that fell on 2004. We have also uh, this meteorite that is a historical one. It's the oldest meteorite that have been recognized in Morocco. It's uh, uh, Merirt. It's an iron meteorite. Uh, we have it as loan from the Ministry of Energy and Mining. We have this meteorite that is one of the most, uh, the biggest one if, uh, on the world. It's uh, 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 instatite chondrites. Uh, uh, this piece is 250 kilograms. Uh, we have uh, someone that uh, made us a uh, uh, mock maquette of uh, the meteor crater that is uh, in Arizona, that uh, is one kilometer uh, size. Uh, we also have this area. Uh, with the um, uh, two space missions, Apollo 11 and Mars 2020. And we have uh, uh, an area for the dark sky to explain the, um, the importance of the dark sky, especially in Morocco. Uh, this area in the uh, exhibit is dedicated to the, the uh, lectures. We have uh, launched on July uh, a series of lectures. We have uh, every uh, week, we have one senior lecture. This one is was done by uh, Professor uh, Ben Khaldun and one uh, from young researcher. And as you see, we had, uh, it's nice to see very young people um, attending those lectures. Um, we welcome many young people. Uh, the, the, the exhibit is for everyone, but we welcome many young people. And uh, they, we have uh, at this atelier uh, for those young people uh, where they visit the exhibit, but also doing um, uh, handwork. Uh, here is the... the uh, spacecrafts uh, design and they enjoy very much those uh, activities. Uh, I welcome you. I think I will not be able to go to this, but if you want to have um, a 3D visit of the exhibit, uh, it has been uh, done by one uh, by Media Ventcat, uh, it's a Moroccan journal. Um, the exhibit was being uh, presented to the Meteorological Society last week uh, in the business meeting because uh, as we had funds from the METSOC, we um, talked about uh, the exhibit in the, in the METSOC business meeting. And uh, we presented also this very nice um, uh, book story uh, about uh, that uh, I wrote about one interesting meteorite that fell in Morocco in 2008, and it's the Tandak meteorite. And uh, the, um, it was illustrated, it is illustrated by a young uh, Moroccan artist that is uh, from the uh, um, Ecole des Beaux-Arts of Petouin. Uh, and it's a very nice uh, thing that uh, we uh, prepared for the exhibit. Uh, so the exhibit was designed uh, for two months, uh, July and August, and we had uh, uh, we have uh, an extension for two uh, extra months. Um, so this is the during the Meteorological Society business meeting to just uh, saying uh, thanks to the Meteorological Society for the support.
So our strategic vision, vision for Atara Foundation for the next years is based on dream big and start small. Uh, the, we dream of having a big uh, for the future and our country with the contribution of our association. And we are dreaming of Moroccan Center dedicated to geology, astronomy, planetology, planetary science and meteoritics. And having, uh, as I said, a mix between research and outreach. The future um, is uh, on the way. Um, and, uh, I would like to thank you very much for your generous listening and um, of course I uh, thank all our partners of Atari Foundation and invite you to join uh, us in our social media. Um, thank you so much for your inv invitation again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Professor Shinawi, for this uh, wonderful uh, uh, presentation of your achievements. Uh, just in a few years, what you achieve is, is really, it's really uh, amazing. Uh, and I, I witnessed this because uh, we contribute a lot to, uh, to uh, some events that we organized at Lachau uh, University. And I attended the online meetings that you arranged during the pandemics. And now actually this wonderful exhibit, uh, the first of its kind in Morocco. And really I see your dreams are, we becoming true, inshallah. That's, uh, that's for sure, and we, we, we hope that we'll have a big museum, science museum, actually, uh, in, in Morocco, because we have a lot of uh, uh, meteorites, and they need to be shown to the public and uh, amazing the public about science and making the kids interested in science and so on. Uh, I have um, some, uh, like some nice comments in, uh, in the chat. Uh, uh, people... Uh, they are impressive uh, for your talk. Uh, and uh, Alex, he said that, uh, uh, I hope your dreams come true for your Moroccan center. Uh, another comment, what a visionary approach, dream big, uh, start uh, smart, uh, start small, uh, hats off. Uh, 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 we have like, like 10 minutes left uh, for uh, discussions, for, uh, questions uh, from the, the attendees. I will look also into the Facebook. Maybe we have some uh, people who are having some comments and uh, <coughs> let me just go to our Facebook. So, uh, Emmanuel, Vazi, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Hassan. Thank you very much, Professor Hassan Shinawi. It was indeed very, uh, interesting and uh, okay, how, how should I say that nourishing or uh, nourishing presentation and um, I was just uh, thinking as you were talking you know you might already know in, in France there is a, there is a, a network called Vigiciel you know, you know them already? <laughs> of course. Yes. They, those are our col collaborators Friends, uh, yeah. Okay, wonderful. And so in the same ID, uh, are you looking for or do you need international collaboration? Or what, what would you need from an international uh, network as GHOU or, or others? Um, actually, I, I think that it's important, uh, as I've shown, to have... Um, uh, international collaborations um, uh, um, because you cannot do uh, things to, alone. And we have many international um, uh, scientific collaborations uh, with uh, such as Vigiciel uh, mm -hmm. uh, the MOFID network, the observatory, uh, uh, national observatory is uh, actually is a scientific uh, network uh, that is led by uh, and conducted by the our colleagues in the uh, University of Perth in uh, Australia. Uh, so, uh, what would be complementary uh, to those uh, network uh, scientific network 
is uh, international uh, NGOs. Uh, mm. We have national collaboration with, uh, for example, We Speak Citizen uh, and Open Villages, but it may be nice to have collaboration with international other NGOs uh, or uh, organizations, uh, not, on, uh, not uh, on science, but uh, on outreach. And uh, it may be uh, nice to, we can uh, give the, the meteoritic part because we have the knowledge of meteoritics and we have an experience of outreach uh, in this area. Uh, and it's, uh, we, we have seen with Professor Dramawi and Professor Ben Khildun that uh, with astronomy and astrophysics, we are, uh, we are complementary. So um, it may be nice to have this kind of, um, this kind of collaborations. Okay, thank you. I will think and maybe I will send you some, some ideas. Thank you. Okay, Manuel. Any other uh, comments, uh, questions to Hasna? Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll ask a question, Hasna. What are, what are now like the challenges for a Tariq Foundation? Like, uh, what are the... Uh, uh, how do you see the future and what are the challenges, kind of challenges for uh, this foundation? Yeah, actually, uh, so uh, we have uh, challenges for the very next months and uh, for the next years. So the very next months is to continue uh, managing the, the, the exhibit because uh, at, we are NGO, so uh, it's uh, uh, the voluntary work and the PhD students. So it's not it. It was difficult to have the exhibits, and it's not easy to make it work in every day for uh, months. So this is one challenge that we have to to face. Uh, alhamdulillah. Are you, are you so planning to make this exhibit move around Morocco, like like touring Morocco? This uh, do you have yes. plans for? That? That's yes, it, it was it was it's designed uh, to to be um, uh, movable. Uh, uh, actually, uh, we had um, some offers to go to Marrakech, to go to Agadir. So there are. Uh, <laughs> Inshallah, yes, 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 yes. Of course. Um, so uh, it was designed to be um, movable. Uh, so this is for the next months. But uh, as I said, one of our important goals is to have uh, a permanent uh, center of research and exhibits in, um, um, in Morocco. We already talked about this. It may be in Casablanca, it may be in Ifran, it may be, uh, it should be related to, to one university because uh, research uh, has to be done. But mm -hmm. it's something that we would like to, and we will continue doing what uh, our our heart is to uh, uh, to share the knowledge for many people. Mm. Um, there is another question: Is there any handbook, guides, web material related released by your foundation regarding identification of meteorites after a uh, fine? Yes. By uh, some yeah. enthusiastic yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually uh, it's um, uh, the, this those uh, very short videos about um, uh, that are in our YouTube channel may be used to identify for example meteorites fusion crust it's uh, it's uh, in the same time uh, to make people uh, know about uh, how to recognize a meteorite uh, there is no handbook our guide, but we have those small videos uh, dedicated to this uh, aim. Yes, now if you could like just uh, put in the chat uh, maybe the the Facebook page or link to it's, so it's, that maybe uh, they, they could actually. It's, it's YouTube link, everything. Yeah. It, everything. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, if we have you, uh, okay, um, I have to share a few stop sharing if I want. Uh, uh, actually, it's it's very easy. I'm sorry, I uh, I don't know how to go to uh, to the web. Um, so it's if you just uh, uh, search Atarak Foundation, uh, you will find uh, our Facebook page. It's with Atarak Foundation name. It's it's a very easy. YouTube. Uh, YouTube channel with this name, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And, and if, uh, if anyone wants to contact you, you will send email to Atari Foundation directly, right? So yes, it's... Uh, okay, it's Atari Foundation. Uh, Gmail. Gmail, okay. Great. I will put the links here in the chat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gustavo. Thank, thank you so thank you. much. Thank you. Yeah, we still have like uh, four minutes if, if anyone has to do, to say anything. If you want to uh, to play the video, that would be nice. Uh, um, I, okay, I'll... Uh, uh, please remember to, you have to stop sharing and when you yes. share, then turn on the sounds, okay? There's a small box on the bottom left. So we can hear. Okay. So we don't hear you, Lesna. You are muted. Okay. So I'm. How long is the video? Uh, it's it's um. Uh, it, it's um, uh, do, do you see it? Yes, yes, we see it. So uh, it's um, actually you can go to this. Um, I'll share the link. The discussion. I would like to mention here that Hasna uh, was on many uh, TV programs and uh, local uh, uh, interviews with local magazines and journals. Uh, and this is very good actually promoting science, promoting uh, what she does uh, in Morocco. She's also a role model for, for girls actually in Morocco. And uh, we're, we're proud of you, Hasna. Uh, Thank you so much. So here you see. The, those are um, photo calls that we have. Uh, the, I, 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 the, those are photo calls. It's with an artist. It's a painting uh, on toile that are five meters from three uh, to uh, three meters. Uh, this one is about uh, the Marsh miss, Mission 2020. It's the rover and um, uh, perseverance and the uh, helicopter and Genity. And there is a, a very, uh, it's just to, to uh, 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 it's for fun. Uh, the mission was to find water and uh, in March and uh, a trace of, uh, of uh, life. And we have this, uh, like the Morocco uh, fountain. <laughs> Moroccan was already there and built uh, this fountain. Here we have uh, uh, the, the T Sint meteorite on exhibit. Here we have a uh, lunar meteorite, two lunar meteorites on exhibit. And this photo call also is, is it's like, like a joke. It's about Apollo 11. But uh, Moroccan was already there making tea, and we have the Moroccan flag uh, when you arrive. And so those, this is the uh, uh, a loan from the, um, uh, the U.S. embassy that was celebrating uh, the Apollo 11 uh, 50 uh, anniversary. Um, so we had this uh, on the one, and we have uh, also this area that is dedicated to, 
to, uh, oh, sorry, oops, <laughs> it's a 3D thing. So um, uh, this area is dedicated to dinosaurs because uh, in Morocco, we have, uh, we have uh, many fossils. And uh, you see here, uh, this is the place where we have the, the, uh, the lectures. Yeah. And here you, you uh, sorry. Um, uh, and here you have the solar system and the meteorites yeah. are this uh, area. Yeah, thank you, Gustav, for making the link to all. Thank you. And again, uh, thank you again, Lahsna, for this wonderful presentation. And uh, we'll hope to, to have you again in, in conferences. Many, thank you, many thanks.